That's right. The, the compromands and the, uh, the uh, mentors need to sort of make their way down here, get on the front row. The front row has been reserved for them, so to speak. Make sure you understand where your stole is and go ahead and get it ready so that the mentors can, can use it here in a moment. And in a moment, family and friends will also be given an opportunity at a certain point. Jeff will be telling you about that. By the way, Jeff and I are sort of uh, con-celebrating this today. Uh, we're going to uh, use the, the wisdom of two preachers together to make this event so special, we hope. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church, we are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and we're given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant that was declared at our baptism. We acknowledge what God is doing for us and we affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. Now, if the mentors would come forward. I present Daniel Goodman for his confirmation and his profession of faith. I present Andrew Holyfield for his confirmation. I present Addison Tony for her profession of faith and her confirmation. And I present Jamie Turney, Turner for his confirmation. Since the earliest times, the vows of Christian baptism have consisted first of the renunciation of all that is evil, and then the profession of faith and loyalty to Christ. Parents or other sponsors reaffirm these vows for themselves while taking the responsibilities of sponsorship for their children when they were baptized as infants. Canons for confirmation now profess for themselves the solemn vows that were made at their baptism. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior and put your whole trust in His grace and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. According to the grace that's been given to you, will you remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? Who will sponsor these candidates, or who will sponsor these candidates and support and encourage them now in their Christian life? Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? We do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these persons now before you in your care? With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness that they may grow in their trust of God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. The Apostles' Creed in threefold question and answer form appeared at least as early as the third century as a statement of faith used in baptisms 
has been widely used in baptisms ever since. I now ask the candidates, the mentors, and this congregation with the Universal Church to join with the Universal Church across the ages in this historic confession and affirmation of the Christian faith. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. We are about to confirm each of these young persons. This will be done one at a time. And I'm going to invite members of their family, their mentors, and friends from the congregation to come and lay hands, come forward and lay hands upon their head and shoulders as the prayer is offered. Also, as part of the confirmation process, the confirmands created a stole with the help of Susan Herndon and Christy Smith. In scriptural terms, the stole is a physical representation of the yoke of servitude that each Christian has with Jesus Christ. We are bound together, yoked together, with him as we live out our faith journeys. We now offer them a blessing and present these stoles to each of the confirmands to help remind them of all their commitments and vows and their servitude to Christ. Those that would like to come forward for each confirmand, family, friends, others, are welcome to come forward at this time. We'll go one at a time for each confirmand. Daniel, may the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, Stan, we're, we're more praying. More hands on him. We're not done. Hey, he's, he's a preacher's kid. He needs all the prayers. <laughs> May God bless you in your Christian journey and your unfolding ministry as a part of the priesthood of all believers. I love you. Your mentor loves you. Your parents love you. The members of the church love you. Most importantly, though, God loves you. And we will all be with you each step of this journey that you are beginning today. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Folks, you're welcome to come up here as well. It's time to gather around. Andrew, may the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you in your Christian journey and your unfolding ministry as a part of the priesthood of all believers. 
I love you. Your mentor loves you. Your parents love you. The members of the church love you. Most importantly, though, God loves you. And we will all be with you each step of this journey that you are beginning today. Amen. Come on. Addison, may the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you in your Christian journey and your unfolding ministry as a part of the priesthood of all believers. I love you. Your mentor loves you. Your parents love you. The members of the church love you. Most importantly, though, God loves you. And we will all be with you each step of this journey that you are beginning today. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. on parents and grandparents and friends you're a friend come on in there <laughs> Jamie may the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the spirit you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ amen May God bless you in your Christian journey and your unfolding ministry as a part of the priesthood of all believers. I love you. Your mentor loves you. Your parents love you. The members of the church love you. Most importantly, though, God loves you, and we will all be with you each step of this journey that you're beginning today. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. As the, the friends and family are being seated, I ask the compromands to come back up to the rail here. In some church traditions, the bishop comes at the day of confirmation. I guess, Jeff, you're the stand-in bishop today. We're giving you the sort of the, some of the words because he's about to invite them to be part of Christ's universal church and especially to be a member of the United Methodist Church. As Terry has noted previously, Andrew and Jamie have made their profession of faith and taken the vows of membership and united with this church. So at this moment, I'm addressing Daniel and Addison. As members of Christ's universal church, we be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your powers to strengthen its ministries. You will. Uh, you will. Okay. Can we get a resounding I will? I will. Okay. Okay, now that you said you want to be United Methodist, I've got a question to ask you. As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? You will? You will. I'm also happy to report that Sandy Wright has requested that her membership be moved to Trinity, and we welcome her to our congregation this morning as well. Members of the household of God, I commend these persons Turn to your on. loving care. The congregation. 
Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you. And we welcome you in Christian love as members together with you in the body of Christ and this congregation of the United Methodist Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service, that in, witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Receive this blessing. May the God of all grace, who's called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Y'all be seated now.